Welcome back. Uh, in this lesson I'm going to be showing you how to do more of the um, zoom level wall based styles um, but for this time we're going to be using it on the, the line layer so all of the roads and the rails and things. But before I do that I just wanted to um, load in the um, rest of the styles that I have all previously done for this layer. So let's just load in all of our styles for this. So I've basically got the woods and the forest, the greenery, the water and the buildings so let's apply that and there we can see it's a lot more filled in now. So this building layer has a similar set of rules on it. So when we're below 50,000 zoom, so we're here, we're 1 to 20,000, you can see them. So if I zoom out to less than 50,000, you'll see now that the uh, building layer has turned off because if I had it on at this level, it'd just be too busy. So what I want to do is just put a color in the background of the land. So let's choose background color land okay that okay so now I've got a land color in there so what we're going to do is add in our, <coughs> our line shape file and let's load that in so this is our lines so it's basically all of the roads and rail and rivers and things like that so as before we're going to do a rule based style and I'm just going to do it to the primary routes to start with, which are things like the motorways. So let's click on the uh, filter, simple line, and um, I'm just going to use pure white for the uh, the colour. So a nice white line, and this is going to be our top zoom level. So at zoom level one, when we are at one million to 25,000. This is going to be our top level. And we're going to call it primary roots zoom, zoom, not zoom, zoom one. Okay, and the filter we're going to apply here is looking at the highway column, which is basically all of our roads. If the highway is primary or the highway is motorway. Okay, that. And the line thickness I'm going to use is 1.06 millimeters. So let's just OK that. And all of this, basically what's going to happen is all of our other lines are going to disappear. So all we're left with is the motorways. So there we have our motorways now on our map at that zoom level. So let's OK that. And there you can see it. Takes a bit of time to render, unfortunately. <laughs> there we go. Come on, there we go. So now that's done at zoom level one. So I want to do a zoom level two. So instead of having to type all this out again, you can just copy it. Then we need to do to copy it is just click on it, copy it, and paste it. So Command C, Command V, just to copy and paste. And now I'm going to change this to zoom level. Two, and I'm going to change the zoom level from 25,000 at the top end down to 5,000 at the lower end. And I'm just going to change the line thickness to two millimeters. Okay, so between 25 and 5,000, I'm going to have the lines thicker. So we'll OK that, apply that. And at the moment, we're at 82,000. So let's just zoom in a bit more into the center. And now our buildings and other stuff have come. I'm still not below 25,000. So let's just zoom in one more level and we should see that our, our lines get thicker. See now our primary roots here, they're much thicker than they were when we were zoomed out a little bit more. So one more zoom level. So copy, paste, and just double click on it, edit it and change the zoom level on this one from 5,000 at the top end, 500. And I'm just going to make this four millimeters thick. Let's OK that. OK that. So if I zoom in again, we'll see our lines get even thicker. Not in there yet. So that's 5,000. Now we're below 5,000. You see our lines are much thicker than they were. We're zoomed out. The reason for this is if you have them all 
a constant thickness that when you are zoomed in at this level they just look too thin in relation to everything else so the thickness of the lines is very important at different zoom levels so what you need to do is just have a little play until you're happy with the various line thicknesses at different levels now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to load in um, the rest of my styles for this one just so you can see what they look like so I'll just load style and city roads and I have lots and lots of things on here so we've got things like the runway and airports and the taxiway on airports we've got the residential roads we've also got railways tertiary roads secondary roads all of these things which you can style up and apply to your map so now we have the railways on here we've got all of the other types of roads and what have you so let me just show you let's just zoom in a little bit so as you can see at the moment, these residential roads are sitting on top of our motorways, which doesn't look right. So what we need to do is change the layer order, the rendering order. See this button here that says rendering order. So what we want to do is change the order that they get rendered in. So we want our primary roads to be rendered after our residential roads along with all of these tertiary ones. All of our tertiary, secondary and primary roads are the white ones at different thicknesses. And we want them to sit on top of the residential ones. So all you need to do is literally just double click in here, each level, each zoom level and put a one in. And what that will do is, is it will render this after it's rendered all of the other features. Simple as that. So just change all of those to ones and it will do all the zeros first and then all of the ones. So hit OK and apply and you watch very carefully here along these roads where you can see currently the residential roads which are the grey ones are sitting on top they'll drop behind there you go so now you have your main roads sitting on top which is exactly what you want okay so i hope that was helpful and has um, given you a lot of information in how to a use zoom levels and b how to do the rendering of the layer order so it's takes a bit of time because like I say there's a lot of columns and a lot of categories but once you've set this style up the great thing about that Metro Extracts page which I showed you in a previous lesson is that all of the data comes down in exactly the same format so all you need to do to quickly style up a completely new city is download the data apply your styles for the lines and apply your styles for the polygons and then you're done instantly you have a newly styled map for a whole city and join me in the next lesson and I'll show you how to add points and also how to label roads and other features on your map. <laughs>